I don't know if this is gonna work. Maybe it did. Okay. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsport 7. Um, I know it has been a little bit with very sporadic video uploads, so I wanted to, you know, get back on, let you guys know where I've been recently. Um, I have been doing a lot recently, you know, in my personal life with work and such like that. Uh, my girlfriend did buy a new car, so we've been doing that as well as. I did go out and play some airsoft, which I haven't played in a very long time uh, since I moved away from Florida. But I was recording with my helmet cam and my gun cam when I was playing, so I will be bringing some airsoft content to the channel as well. Uh, different change of pace, some uh, basically real life IRL first person shooters. If you know, if you know what I mean. So we are here today in the Camaro behind the wheel, getting. You know the feels back since it's been a while since I've been behind the wheel on my sim setup. So we are here at Norschleiven. We are gonna shred my ESDA Camaro here at Norschleiven and uh, have a little fun drifting this thing here and see, uh, you know, what we can do with it here at the ring. I'm gonna kick it in here. The ring is definitely a very interesting track to try and drift. I've done it before in some other cars and Mustangs and stuff, but. I've never really done it with a car that I've been super comfortable in as we wreck our car. So it's been a minute, so I'm trying to get uh get my bearings back here in Forza 7. Um so like I said, I have been doing some stuff other content that I will be bringing to the channel, so look forward to that coming here very soon, but so I haven't just been uh you know slacking off and not doing anything you know I've been doing other forms of content that I want to bring to the channel because I do love playing airsoft I played for a team called team reload in Florida it was a lot of fun I actually played with mk6 perigo in real life um, he was a member of the team as well we had a lot of fun doing it every weekend so there was a local track that opened up by me about 30 45 minutes away um, so I went there indoor field Got some good content, I believe, recorded. Um, gonna be working the bugs out with the camera and you know positioning and stuff like that for future videos. But I will be bringing airsoft content to the channel as well because I mean, this channel is about gaming and having fun as well as the sim setup. And I did do play first-person shooters on the channel as well, so it's kind of just like an IRL first-person shooter. So I'm. Can't wait to get this car into the twisty sections here at the ring and uh, fully uh, shred this thing sideways. Ooh. Try not to die. There we go. That would have been sweet if I could have broke and made that turn. So we're going to actually rewind this and see if I can't somehow make this turn because uh, that was pretty sweet. I know, I know. Rewinds are stupid. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna do it again. Rewinds are pretty dumb, but you know what? Everybody makes mistakes. Not everybody is perfect, so. And we're not gonna get a good entry like last time, so we're gonna rewind to get our wing back, and then uh, continue our Norschleiven endeavor. This just goes to show you everybody's human. Not everybody is perfect, and uh, I'm pretty sure nobody can get everything perfect every single time. I know for sure I can. Thought I was gonna go off track that time too. A little clutch kick and we're good. Adjust my headset volume a little bit because it's a little bit quiet. I saw that sign on the side of the road and it kind of confused me. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I don't think we're gonna hold that. That was a very, very, very long e-brake grab. Now we're into some sections that I know a little bit better. There we 
go. Putting this Camaro through his paces here at Nuremberg, Norschleiven circuit. Kind of makes me want to get back onto Assetto and do some uh, Norschleiven tour online. Those are always fun to do, hop in some random cars and you know, drive it like you're driving the actual Nuremberg with all the cars and such. There we go. Ooh. Just a tap. This car may be way too powerful for this track. But then again, you know, it might not be, it might just be me. My drifting might be a little bit laxing since I haven't been behind the wheel of, of the rig in a little bit of time. There we go. Ooh, just a grass tap. Please hold that. Those curbs are very deadly though. They definitely hurt. I missed my gear. Just a tap. I mean, that, that was kind of cool, but not how I wanted to do it by any means. And I forgot I have no assist on and my ABS and everything locked up. So, drifting a while after uh, not being behind the wheel. Definitely gonna have to get some more practice in because uh, ESDA is around the corner. Um, I'm also a little bit sore from the weekend from playing airsoft. I'm not doing it in a while. Uh, physically, I uh, guess I was a little bit uh, out of shape for the amount of time that I actually played. Because um, I did play for a good. I went there. I got there at about nine. I didn't get home. Didn't leave there until a little after 3:30. So a good decent amount of time of constant play. So it was a lot of fun. Like I said, I will be bringing that content to the channel so you guys can check it out if you guys want. See if I, you know, get a little bit more diversity in the channel than just Forza Contact. We're playing a lot more games here in the near future, a lot more racing games. Going back, playing some other games that have been uh, on the back burner for a while. You know, get back into some rally racing and, you know, rally showdowns with the team, as well as getting back into drifting on Forza Horizon 3. Had a lot of fun, you know, getting some tandems with some friends. So definitely going to be getting back onto Forza Horizon 3 here very shortly and uh, doing some drifting, whether it be in the parking lot where everybody drifts or the airport sections, you know, just to have a little fun for a good time and to reminisce about it. I'm curious where I'm actually going to choose to drift on these uh, the carousel turns while we're about to find out. I think I'm going to try and drift the outside of it. I don't know if this is going to work. Maybe it did. Okay. So it did work. I didn't think that actually was going to work as well as it did. But it actually worked. Uh, these uh, rumble strips here are very big and very dangerous for this car. This car does not like it. As I say that, I try and uh, tag the front end on one of them. There we go. And the thing is, I don't know, as much as I've driven this track before, I still don't know every single turn. I bet you if I did this a lot and memorized the turn, I could probably drift this entire track on one try without going off track and just, you know, be super awesome at it. But I don't have the track memorized. Maybe I should challenge myself to memorize this track better. As I say that, I just whipped through that section without a hiccup and uh, fail right there. But uh, it is a lot of fun, uh, don't get me wrong, drifting these tracks that you don't normally drift that aren't set up for drifting is hella fun and very challenging. So I've been drifting a lot of tracks that I wouldn't normally drift at, Laguna Seca, Nuremberg Ring, and you know tracks that you, you wouldn't normally drift on, these things that aren't in the drift hoppers, and just having a lot of fun with it. because. You know, it, it takes away the, uh, the basically the normality grind that ensues with like drifting in the parking lot on Horizon 3, you know, 
drifting all the online hopper tracks that you know you pretty much only drift on it makes it a lot different it makes it more interesting it makes it a lot more fun it breathes a uh, new life into the game I guess you could say there we go I'm trying to like look at the map at the same time as I'm doing this to see what's coming up to see if I can't remember the sections I'm at to try and link some of these together but it's just so hard because all these turns I, I wish I knew this track like the instructors that drive this track on the daily who know this track like the back of their hands or the people that actually there and drive this track all the time I didn't think we were gonna make that super surprised that we actually saved that this car likes third gear I probably should have gone in second gear but the, it definitely has the power to, to save itself in third gear for sure So I keep trying to want to link all these turns and I actually realize I should probably straighten up at some point or run a little Manji line so that I, you know, don't lose my wing like I just did. So now we're going to actually just see if we can't hold this car straight at full speed. This is going to be super sketchy. Especially if we enter in at a high speed. Oh boy. 200k. 200k, 200 miles an hour. Uh, 190 mile an hour e brake. Oh boy. Save it, save it, save it, save it, save it. Saved it. So we didn't, we didn't total the car. So that's always a plus. We didn't total the car in our Nuremberg Endeavor. And we uh, kind of did a 190 mile an hour entry. So I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsport 7 here at the North Live. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And just so you guys know, I will be back to regular daily uploads here um, since with everything coming on. But the summer coming, there's going to be other content coming to the channel via car shows, drift events, and such that I will be going and doing full vlog and content from those. So look forward to you know, live drift events coming, you know, IRL drift events, um, as well as car shows and such. All that content will be coming to the channel here coming very soon with the weather getting warmer here. So as you guys know, you guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. So until next time, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and uh, this is probably a bad idea. Actually, I should probably try modging this thing. Screw it, we're gonna try modging.